This is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Diane Anderson. Dozens of New Mexicans die every year because people keep choosing to drive drunk. Now, a New Mexico artist is trying to bring some comfort to the living victims left behind. As Kim Holland reports, she decided to pick up her brush after her own brush with death. And started painting in the morning, and the next thing I know, I, I've been in my own little world for so long, I'm going, oh my God, it's dark. Nikki Smith Wilden finds peace in painting. It relaxes me. It makes you forget about everything else that's going on around you. Usually I'll have like four or five going at the same time. This Farmington artist who has painted for two presidents and had her work in galleries is painting for different reasons these days. You kind of feel like you get to know them as you paint them. With every brush stroke, Smith Wilden gets to know the people killed by drunk drivers. And I've got from little babies up to... There was a lady that was 80-some years old that was killed. From only a photograph, Smith Wilden tries to capture their life, if only in paint. To me, it's, it's always their eyes that show so much. You know, he looks like he's a, a real happy-go-lucky kid that, that just really enjoys life. Smith Wilden tries to bring out fun-loving 21-year-old Scott Costley, who adored motocross, golf, and had a passion for life. Uh, it, it's been tough every day. Police say a drunk driver killed Costly in September in Gallup. The loss has been devastating on his family, friends, and the Gallup community. Having a friend like that around... <sighs> yeah, it's our hardest part not having that around. But Smith Wilden is trying to brush away some of the victim's pain through her portraits. She's painted more than 50 of them. To let their families know that they didn't die in vain, that they're not forgotten. They're not just a statistic somewhere. This drunk driving crash is the reason Smith Wilden is involved. She was here on I-25 near Santa Fe three years ago, just minutes before Dana Papps crashed head-on into a family, killing five of them. Smith Wilden says this could have been her fate. But it bothered her that more people knew about Dana Pabst than the victims. They knew there were five people killed and some kids. That's all they knew. They didn't know their name. They didn't know how old they are. They didn't know what they looked like. And I thought, that's so unfair. So with little information about the victim and an obsession to get it right, Smith Wilden puts paint to canvas. Well, the eyes, to me, are the most important. And then you've got to get their nose just right, their mouth, their teeth. Um, their ears, everything. Only the ones who knew the victim will know if Smith Wilden got the details just right. Hoping it's good enough for the family. Hi. Hi. Scott Costley's father didn't know about this New Year's gift. I'm sorry. They didn't. Painting is going to be nice to have because that kind of gives us a little more, a lot more meaning than a photo, you know, because it was, it was made for a purpose. Smith Wilden hopes to bring some brightness in such a dark time. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. Each of those paintings costs Nikki Smith Wilden about $800 to create. They're valued at about $5,000. She's having a hard time keeping up with the expense, and she's now looking for more volunteer artists. Now, for more information, you can find a link to her website at ours, krqe.com.